Promise me that you'll rebuild a world better than what we experienced. Promise me that the people will smile again. Promise me that you will be happy. Make me proud. Please. What is this place? Hello? Did I die? Ooh, that definitely still hurts. Can you feel pain when you're dead? I don't know. I guess it really doesn't matter. Oh, hey, a door! That was a dream. Well, now that that's over with, let's get to work. You know, this didn't look so bad off in the distance. Hmm. Where do I begin? That thing! Yeah, it was my favorite apartment that I lived in back when I lived in the past. Until the owners found me and kicked me out. Anyways, yeah, that thing. Well, it seems wishful thinking won't get me very far doing this. I think I'm off to a great start. Oh, come on! Okay. This time will definitely be it. Whew. Not too shabby if you ask me. I could definitely live here. Knock knock. Oh, it's you. The old man. Uh, hey, I'm older than you, but I'm not that old. Still older than me. You're going gray. Yeah, says the kid with the silver hair. Uh, touche. What are you up to here? Attempting to rebuild the city. Oh? What did you do so far? You mean you can't see? Let me guess. You moved that rock. No. That thing? What is that supposed to be? My house! That house is not livable. Sure it is. I'm going to move in tonight. Yeah, sure. If you want that wall to fall on top of you while you sleep. Aww. Well, what are we supposed to do then? Not what you're doing right now, that's for sure. Why don't you come to my place? We could draw up some blueprints or something like that. Nah, I'd rather just stack the rocks and call it a day. No, let's go, kid. Fine. The skies are clear. I take it that you have something to do with it? <laughs> I sorta do. My friend more than anything. I just sort of helped her. Where's your friend? Hmm. I see. One of the promises I made to her is that I'd create a better world than what we grew up in. Well, you certainly won't let her efforts go to waste. She'd really appreciate it, I'm sure. I'm sure she would. I'm kind of lost without her, but I can manage. The world has a strange way of operating. For all we know, this might not be the last time we'll see of her. You think so? I'm just speculating. The fact of the matter is that I really don't know. But I like to be optimistic. It gives you a better outlook on life. I will. You know, despite the hard times you went through, I'm glad that you and your friends stuck together. It's much easier when you have friends around. Well, what brought this on? I was just reminiscing at times with my friends, before the disaster took place. We were all close. We thought we could rely on each other for everything. Then I made the stupid mistake of questioning our friendship with a friend of ours who died. It was insensitive, and I lost a friend because of it. There's so much, so much I wish I could have done. Wow. 
Did you ever talk to them again? Well, yes, but things were never the same. I'll tell you that much. Things are civil between us again, but if I could take back what I said that day, I truly would. Well, on the bright side, you learned from it, didn't you? I suppose. Honestly, the way you express your optimism, I'm sure you'll do a lot of good in the future. I have a feeling something unexpected will happen, but it'll most likely be good. What do you mean? There's something about you, this quality that always fascinated me. You're inspiring, and you can do a lot more than you give yourself credit for. Okay, but I'm not understanding the point of the speech. Everyone was losing hope, and then you pulled that little stunt by going back in time. To simplify, you created a new timeline. There's hope that we could create a new world. And once we do, you and your friend Blaze will be reunited. Wait, what? How do I get her back? What do I do? How do you know this? I must be getting old. I forgot to keep that a secret. What's going on? <sighs> Mephiles. Well, kid, fulfill your promise. You're gonna save us all. Embrace life. You will not be alone. I'll make sure of that.